Hello everyone, my name is Nekonosuke, and today I am going to be showing you how to unpack and repack game files from the Dragon Quest VIII ISO. So, let's begin by setting up Apache 3. So go ahead and uh, click yes to set up your, your install here. And we'll just drag this over to the desktop. Well, we'll just drag this over to the desktop. <laughs> Alrighty, so once you get that onto your desktop, <laughs> you can go ahead and open it. Go ahead and find your ISO file. I've already found the path here, but you can just go through and find where you have it located on your computer. And this button right here will extract all of them for you. Pick somewhere that you want them to go. I'm going to put those right back where the ISO was. And this uh, might take a minute, so we'll do a little time lapse here. Alrighty, so now that we have all of our files extracted here, we can go ahead and close out of that. We should see all of our files here. We can go ahead and take this ISO and just get it out of the way. Now we need to go back and install Expert 2 here. And normally that's going to be uh, in this RAR here, which you can go ahead and extract. But I have already done so, so let's just go into here. And you can double click this expert.msi here. Let's click through the prompts. While that's doing its thing, let's go ahead and find the plugins that we're going to need. So those will be in a zip here. And I have those over here. The two that we are going to be looking for or for Rogue Galaxy. Okay, so now that we've got it installed, first thing that we need to do is go into the tools and the add-on plugins here. Now we can go ahead and drag these into here one by one. The annoying thing about this program is you are supposed to close out of it basically every time you do anything. So let's do that. We're back into that folder where we extracted the ISO files from. So first thing you need to do is go down and select this Rogue Galaxy V1.1. Next thing, you're going to go ahead and drag this data.dat file into the big file header and the .hd6 into the table file. Now you're going to do the first button right here, extract LBA. Once that finishes, it's going to be annoying and make you close it. <laughs> I, I don't mean to complain about the program. It's great that it actually does this. I mean, this was written in 2005, the copyright is 2005, 2006. I don't care. I'm just amazed it works. So next step, though, is 
we're going to do the same thing again here. First, you got to select the plugin, and then you drag this back into here again. This is going to be the pattern for basically every time that you open up the program. So then we can go ahead and go into the tools and open Relinker. That will bring up uh, the directory where all of your stuff was, and it's going to look for this text file right here. Go ahead and click load. Now what we have here is a registry of all of the items that we have that we can extract from the data.dat file. And with that, we can now go ahead and click number two for extract file. Sit tight here because this might take a minute. So now all of our files are extracted to this at data.dat folder. Uh, I haven't really gotten a whole lot of time to go through and look at what all these files are. Um, I know this Kara folder here has um, some of our models and textures for our characters. Our strongest bet is looking into this bin folder. And we see we have a handful of uh, text files here, and some pack files, and some bin files, you know, a whole bunch of things. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Uh, weapon info, and we'll go ahead and open that up, and we see we really just got a whole bunch of gibberish here. So. Uh, let me bring in this file, uh, the same file, but from my uh, native Linux boot. Yeah, pretty much the same thing here. It's just showing some broken hex. Um, this file here and a lot of these text files are going to be encoded in Shift JIS. You can use Notepad++ if you have that to do that as well and go ahead and convert, and look at that. Now we've got all this uh, hiragana and kanji and all that. And yeah, now we know what things are if you speak Japanese. <laughs> Let's say you've edited some files and you're ready to repack the data.dat. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to uh, rebuild this data.hd6, the uh, table file. Click on Rebuild LBA, and if you get an error like this, just make sure that you have a file named exactly like this in your folder. So in this case, uh, let's just go ahead and rename this right here. With our new data.hd6 file created here, uh, we are ready to go ahead and repack our data.dat file. And it's going to pull everything from this folder here, so any edits that you made there. You'll have to rename this file back to what it was before. Now you should be ready to go ahead and click rebuild. Sweet, now we got that done. 
we are ready to repack our ISO. I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder here. And literally just name it new ISO because I feel like it. And we need all the files that we had from the old ISO, or the same file names, to go into here. There are 10 files in total, and we don't want the original data dot dot and data dot hd6, you know, those wouldn't have any of the mods that you just made. Your new ones get renamed as a new dash data, you know, dot dot and dot hd6. 10 items selected. We know we got all of our files. Go ahead and make sure to rename these. I'll put an image burn. And what we're going to do here is create an ISO file uh, from that directory with all of our uh, ISO files in there. Makes sense, right? So that's for me on the desktop. Go ahead and click New ISO, select Folder, and put your destination here. I'm just going to put it uh, right here on the desktop. And I'm going to name it DQ8 Test. And go ahead and click the Build button down here. I'll ask you a bunch of questions. You don't really need to deal with any of it. Just say yes. Alrighty, and now it is recompiling that ISO from all of those files. Uh, once it's done, we'll be able to take this over to PCSX2, launch it up, and make sure that it works. We are back over here on my Linux desktop, and let's go ahead and start up PCSX2. Our test ISO is over here in the file share, and we're going to go ahead and drop that back in. Hope this loads. <laughs> let's find out. Ah, oh, looks like we're good here. We'll go ahead and load into a game, just to make sure that everything is loading properly. Well, there you have it. That's how to extract and repack data from the Dragon Quest 8 ISO. Thanks for watching.